So, we have a rattlesnake in the back of this truck. We're gonna see how big he is. His head, all the way to his tail. Good morning, everybody. We got a lot of problems. First one is we're out of gas. No, just kidding. That's not a problem. We got gas. A big problem. We're motherless again, but we're gonna be all right. And. We got water problems, record heat. We're getting up over a hundred, like 110 or more. And we've got some water that's drying up and cows that are about to be thirsty. So we're sending Riley, Ryler and Rants to move some cows from where there's not water to where there is water. Lorenzo and me and Ridge Rhett and Robbie, we're gonna go try to clear out some pipelines blow them out with air got the air compressor we're gonna try to do something to get the water flowing it's gonna be hot and lots of thirsty cows so we gotta do something yep plenty of water Lorenzo's got all the pipeline fixing stuff. Got a little extra pipe in case we decide to splice on and hot wire the line to get water for now. But we don't really know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna try to do something. Got Big Jake, the famous barrel racing horse, Rambo, and Pickle. Lots of miscellaneous items here. Hopefully something works. Okay. Right here's where we split up. I guess what we gotta decide is whether you uh, Anchor Brand Ranch viewers wanna go with the guys boring driving cattle in the heat or the guys boring working on messed up pipelines. Can you guys take the camera and not lose it? Okay, it's going to be boring with them anyway, so we're going to send them to go move some cattle off of a place with not much water and take them to a place with better water. And uh, the rest of us, we're going to go do the exciting stuff and go get some water running, hopefully. All right, sit down in, hang on. All right, who's gonna be Anger Brand Ranch camera person? All right, only video good stuff. So, right, you know where we're going? Maybe, but we're going to a pipeline. And we are in the back while Dad and Lorenzo are in the front.
Is it not eat or no? Super in, everything looks like crap. Look, he knows how to swim. Hi, little guy, you know how to swim. He's cute, look at him. You think he's cute? Yeah. Yeah. Disease. Do you think he's trying to get out? Hi, Dad. I want to get bit by him and get the disease. Yeah. Do you think he's trying to get out? Yeah. 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 First time saying. Yeah, take it off from it. Be, uh -huh. When it gets hot, they'll probably come drink some. So that. Hey, hey, yeah. Yeah. There's the water. Water's coming out. Your fingers are in the camera, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you have a time on me? White time? Yeah. We didn't want to We didn't have a doctor on the white. I don't know if you have a mosquito. Hey, Robbie. Come look at this mosquito. That's a dragonfly. Oh yeah, a dragonfly. One time I got a dragonfly that I got. They play dead. Scared me. There's a flying ant. I don't kill it on now. Oh, is that the bat? Mm -hmm. Kill it. No. Get in the water then. Do something with it. Like, if you don't like it, do something with it that one. Yeah. Oh, great. You have a frog in them. That's what I do too. Well, you don't put it. I'll put it on top of the. Water drill? No, on top of the. Oh, yeah. Well, no, you Get in, let's go. Okay, so we've got two tubs of water, whatever's left in that tank. So we're gonna be able to keep these cows alive till we hopefully get that water flowing. Here, you need help getting in there, mister? Can't climb in with this. Are we there yet? Yeah. Almost there yet. We're not there yet. Okay.
Let's stop and look at these pipes for a second here. Lorenzo, there might be some way that we can put air to one of these pipes and blow air back up toward the top. That's the question. You would think this one that's the closest might be it. Try popping the top off of it and we'll see if we can hook air onto it. We might have to open or close the valve down in the ground right there. You know what we're about to do? We're gonna hook air on this, blow air down. Hopefully that air pushes back up to the spring and unplugs the pipeline. Tight. Can you tighten it back down in there? Don't break the string and we'll be out of luck. String a little short. Sometimes when it's being hard to start, if you'll flip this little valve up, that's a release. It won't pump air, but it'll make it easier to start. Once it started, then you flip that valve back. Yeah, I'll let it build there for just a second and then throw it on there and see what happens. It does. I will tell what it's doing or if it's doing anything. This just go in there so stuff don't fall down inside. So I think what we want to do is close that valve so that instead of letting air go down the line toward the corral that we force the air back up toward the spring. working. Lorenzo's got that valve turning, so I feel like if we close it, we're going to be forcing air. While Lorenzo keeps air going in that little standpipe, we're going to jog up here to the head of the spring and see if we can see any air or anything happening, any action. We're looking for any action. Hurry, Rhett! Okay, told you we were looking for action. I see action already. Right here. Boom!
I needed to run down there where Lorenzo is. Look, listen, tell him this. Tell him, put the cap on and come on with the truck. What are you going to tell him? Wait, what? Put the cap on. Yes. What are you going to tell him? Put the cap on. Put the cap on and come on. Yes. Okay. Made it, Rob. Did you see any rattlesnakes? No rattlesnakes. You heard a rattlesnake noise? What did you do when you heard the rattlesnake noise? I did. I hear We're in a big bite in here. Alright, so the pipe went quiet. That means Ridgy Bug got the message down to Lorenzo. He should be here in the minute with the truck and we'll hook air on right here. Bring all the dirty stuff down to there. Send it on. The spring's a little farther up the hill. We'll keep working our way and blowing it out. Maybe we'll get this figured out. Some big mean biting flies. Robbie's making war on them. Good thing you brought your rope in case we find any wild cattle up here in the mountain. We can rope them, huh? Okay, we had good air blasting mud and junk out of here. So now let's, you left the cap on and left it closed? Okay, let's put air to this and try to get it to go up to the next. Did it blast out when you took the thing off of it? Okay. Maybe after we after we get air blasted out up there, maybe we'll come and uh, take the cap off and blast all this out before we open the valves, so we don't send junk on down the line. I haven't seen too many of them lately. You been finding you some arrowheads? Oh man, look at Richie's arrowheads. Okay, we got Lorenzo hooked up right there. Me and Ridge and Rhett, we're gonna go ahead while he pumps some air. We'll see if we can find further action up ahead. Let's go, run. See how fast we can get up there. Okay, I don't know the meaning of this, but this air vent here has not much. Oh, there's a little air coming out of it. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Now, there's a head box right up here. Let's see what we got happening there. I can hear stuff. So yesterday, I think I got a picture. I'll put the picture for you. Yesterday I came up to this head box. There was a big rock sitting on this plywood lid. I walked right up here just like this. When I leaned over to take that big rock off that box, I looked down and right there, was a big rattlesnake. Ridgey, right here is where that big rattlesnake was yesterday. All right, take the wooden lid off that box and let's look in it. Take the lid off the box, the wood lid. See the box? Flip the lid off of it. All 
All right, take that plastic jug off of that pipe and put your hand on the pipe really hard so that air can't come out of it. Let's we'll see if we can force the air. Let's see if we can force the air to come through here. I think that's where it's plugged. Go ahead and take your hand off of it now. All right, take that jug off of there. Go down to that other pipe that's putting out all that air. Ridgie, can you hear where all the air is coming out of that little hole in that other pipe? Go plug it hard with your hand, super hard. Trying to get air to break loose whatever's plugging. This box should be vacating sending water down the line I think it's plugged right where it goes out of this box really hold it tight Ridgie's gonna block the air from coming out that air vent that's got some junk coming out of this you can see it's getting kind of dirty so that's cleaning some yuck out I'm gonna try to plug this and see if air will get forced to come up in this box. Hold it tight down there, Ridgey. Hold it tight. I see a few little bubbles coming. Uh oh, found a problem. Okay, come on, Tom. Oh, shoot. I can feel it. Hey, Dad. You look, I didn't know what I was going to tell my mom. Did he get the message? I think he got the message. All right, now get that plastic jug. Start dipping all the water out of that as fast as you can. We need to empty that out so we can get to the outlet part of it. Start dipping and dumping. Dip and dump, fast as you can go. I'll help you, but I gotta be Anchor Brand Ranch cameraman, so I'll sit on this rock. I'll hold the camera while you guys dip and dump. <laughs> right, right here's where I found that big rattlesnake yesterday. Watch out. I leaned over to take the rock off that piece of plywood and big old snake was coiled up right by me. I do not like Dad, big snakes. An anaconda? We're highly unlikely to encounter an anaconda here today. Maybe we'll go where there's an anaconda one day. I hope we do. But hopefully no anacondas today. Just rattlesnakes. Thinking old rattlesnakes. Hurry up. That water's coming in the box fast as you're getting it out. You need to get it out faster. You're not getting much water in your jug. Fill the jug and dump it. Fill it. Fill it. And you gotta fill it faster than that. Fill it, dump it. You need practice at this. That is nice cold water in it.
All right, dip it, dump it. Come on, man. You have a long ways to go. No, that one goes to a place that we don't have water anymore. That line's junk going that way. What we're going to try to do is put it... Ridgie's got to get this dipped out. Maybe you can help him. And then where the water goes out of this box, I think, is where it's plugged. Because you were blasting air out the vent down below. You are even blasting water out of this little pipe. But not much is coming out of the box. So it's basically plugged right where his foot is. Like right between the box and that vent. It's plugged right here. We get this busted open and we should be able to have water. So it's in water air through here? Try it. Try, yeah. Everything's closed down now. Okay, go ahead and put some air right there and see if it'll blast it out of there. Renzo parked right in the tree. Is that cool, y'all? What fuck? That's cold water, isn't it? Did you give me a hat one? Woo! Oh, that feels good. Right out of the mountain. That is cold water on a hot day. Woo! Want some, Renzo? No. Put your head down here. Oh, that is <laughs> nice cold water. Man, that feels good, don't it, Reggie? Man, that feels good. Oh, it just looks. I like it. Oh, nice. Oh, man, we haven't had that much cold water in a while. Oh, that feels good. Yeah. Oh, that thing's gonna be so amazing. Nine. Eight. Nine. 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 
So like put all the black ones right here and all of these ones right here. Do we have thing out now and see if that water will go down? standing right up here at the head of where the spring comes from. You can see Lorenzo and the kids down there at that head box. The water from this spring goes down out of these mountains and waters cattle all the way down there in the valley all the way to where those blue tanks were that we were filling with the water truck this morning. I think we've got that line opened up a little bit. We're going to just kind of finish blowing out all the junk we can, do what we can while we're here, and then let it go, and hopefully that water will get down there. I don't know how long it'll take, but. Okay, I hiked back down here to this little intersection with my pipe wrench. Took the cat back off of there. There's a little water flowing out. Lorenzo and the kids are still up there at that box. They're gonna put some air to it for five or 10 minutes. We'll watch this and see if we can get a bunch of crud blasted out of here. Then we'll open the valve to send it on down to the valley. Okay, we just got in. It's 120 degrees out there. We've been working on that water problem project. I got here and the mail person brought a box for me. Let's see what's inside. All right, so the people at Icea Boots sent me a pair of boots because they want me to show you about their boots and their brand. Right off the bat, good looking boot. Packaged up all like a boot. 
steel toe, leather, keep dry and warm. You like those boots, Rhett? Should I try one on? Oh, let's try this thing out. Affordable work boot. Check out Hysia Boots at HyseaFootwear.com. Just kidding, I don't even know if that's the website. Oh, well, yeah, look that up on the internet. Get you some affordable work boots. There you have it, a work boot you can afford. Take them straight out of the box, put them on and go to work. You don't have to worry about keeping them fancy and clean, huh? Put them things to work. See if we can wear them out. Hey everybody, another day of dealing with water problems. It's over 100 degrees this week and water is going down everywhere. We're up here on another line that's plugged. We worked on it some yesterday, no success. Right now I'm walking a remote stretch of the line, just trying to find a problem that we can solve. Anyways, I'm gonna tell you, yesterday we stopped by the house and the mail person had brought a package Hysia Boots. Hysia reached out to me, asked me if I would uh, accept a free pair of boots from them in turn for sharing their name and a link in the description below. So I'm um, doing my part. And the first thing I did, throw these boots on my feet and go straight to work. No mercy. And uh, I didn't have a lot to say at first, but after a day and a half now of wearing these boots, I'll tell you, they're comfortable right off the bat. Didn't take any breaking in. These are steel-toed cowboy boots and they're affordable. So if you gotta go to work, you need you a pair of work boots and you don't wanna spend $300 on a pair of fancy boots to go to work, I see a boots. The link's in the description. The promo code I think is 15rancher and you'll get 15% off and maybe they'll send me another pair of boots if I wear these out. I can't tell you anything about the longevity because I've just been wearing them for two days, but I can tell you they're comfortable, steel-toed work boots, and they're affordable. So go to the link in the description and get yourself a pair of work boots, go to work, and uh, we'll talk back later. There you go. Still clean and pretty up on the top. I'm putting them to the test right now too. I'm hoofing it down through this country. I found an air vent right here, no water at it. I've got Lorenzo coming up the line to meet me in the Toyota with an air compressor. When he gets here in a little bit, I can see him way down there below. When he gets here, we're gonna throw some air on that air vent, see what we can determine. Still just troubleshooting. But man, it's hot. These cows are about to run out of water. We're in medium panic mode right now. We'll sort it out. Tell you why i'm walking too we were bringing two trucks so lorenzo could be on one end of the line i could be on the other we could radio back and forth and try to find where the problem is but uh 
my little Ford Ranger that has air conditioning that I've been loving to drive around checking everything in. That air conditioning has been a blessing lately. The Ford Ranger quit dead in the road on the way up here. Uh, it's crank no start. Check to see if the fuel pump was working. Undid a fuel line under there. Turned the key, got fuel. So it's not the pump, not the filter. What is it? Who knows? 1998 Ford Ranger died in, died in the middle of driving and crank no start. Somebody help. Okay, here is this air vent with no air, no water, nothing happening. And uh, when that Toyota gets here with the air compressor, we'll put some air in it and see what, see what we can get. There comes Lorenzo in the Toyota. So he started all the way down at the big tank. I'll have to check in with him, see what he's found along his way. This standpipe right here is about all I've really found. You find anything? Okay, well the problem's got to be between here and up at the spring because there's nothing at this air vent here. So, I don't know if it's worth putting air in this or not. Because I think the air would just go down and out. So I think we probably plug like down. Yeah. Plugged down there. There's a little bit of water. I think it's where I sent it back up this way. But there's nowhere to go. So I think it just popped out higher. Well, I think you're right that it sprayed out when you were pumping all that water. But the problem ain't down there. We ain't got no water here. So there ain't no water from the spring down there. So shove it down all the way from up there down or? That's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm thinking. Let's go let's go give that a try and see how it goes. Right now will be a bad time to break this truck. Because we knew we were gonna have a long hot walk out here. Yeah. So the Toyota has already been doing a little bit bad yesterday. So we were thinking the Ford Ranger might be the this is really what saves us. Now that the Ford Ranger is done, if this Toyota dies out here, me and Lorenzo are going to have to wrestle over this half a bottle of water. If whoever, if whoever wins, can walk out of here. <laughs> okay, this is not that great of an option. Right here where the inner tube and bailing wire is, that pipe's cut right there. We're gonna split it and try to put air going down. It's really not that great of a plan, but we're striking out in all other ideas, so. Okay, here's the jerry rig setup. I'm gonna go down below and see what's happening down there now. Here's the next air vent down the line. It's losing out quite a bit of water, air. Hopefully that'll stay on there good enough to force some water down the line. There was a spot that I found farther down this line where the pipe was exposed. I'm gonna go check on it. found walking down through the bushes always pick that up never leave it behind that could save your day okay right here we got pipe with water coming out so I know we're good to hear so that stand pipe down where I was waiting for Lorenzo earlier somewhere between right here and down there is our problem spot I don't know how to discover is but
everybody clean shirt clean shave going to the rodeo so we are headed out we're just pulling out of the Tickaboo Valley there's the ranch back behind us there we're headed to Rock Springs Wyoming Rio and his partner Jake are gonna be roping at the National High School Finals Rodeo so we're headed up there head ranch hand Lorenzo's got the ranch handled uh, we just spent the last few days just solid working on water problems and we were blessed to discover the exact spot where the line was plugged. There was kind of a jerry-rigged connection with some rubber inner tube, bailing wire, and some little pieces of roots from the spring had gradually hung up in that kind of weird junction. And as those roots hung up and hung up, eventually there was enough of them that it absolutely 100% stopped off all the water. And trying to find on several miles of pipeline where it was plugged was pretty interesting. I even went as far as making me some little divining rods. You know the little wires that you see people use to find stuff and you wonder if it's witchcraft or hocus pocus or baloney or if it really works? Uh, I ended up getting me some copper wires and using those to try to help locate that pipeline poke a little hole in it with my pocket knife see if water comes out or if no water comes out and by process of elimination digging holes and poking pipe i finally found right where it was plugged used the air compressor got it unplugged patched it back together uh, a little better than it was we didn't use the inner tube rubber we used some of the pvc compression couplers made a pretty good little junction there and water is now flowing so Lorenzo's just got to keep an eye on all that, but man, that was a hectic time trying to get that water all going. Hopefully we can be gone to this rodeo for a week, and we'll show you something along the way. Let's go.